Hey, life group leaders and growth group leaders. I want to just take some time today and I need to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Listen, we are stuck in our homes. Many of you are working remotely. Some of you may have had issues with even going to work. Uh, our kids are at home and uh, there's just craziness all around us. And what I want to talk to you about today is how uh, we can host our groups and our classes online and have what we're going to call virtual groups. So I want to talk to you about that, give you some input on that. And uh, I want to let you know that coming up tonight at 8 p.m., we are going to have a live Zoom call. Zoom is a platform that I use for my group on Tuesday, and it can be used for classes. It can be used for just any meetings of any kind uh, to make you feel present together online. And I want to give you three simple reasons why we should host our groups and our classes online and hope you'll take these to heart. Reason number one, the church is not limited by social gatherings. Listen, if anybody knows this, it's you guys, our teachers and our group leaders. You know that the church is a called out people. And yes, we gather together, but we're not limited to make disciples just because we can't continue meeting in person. And uh, right now we need to protect the health and safety of people that we love, people that we care about. And so uh, we can uh, we can host these things online. Listen, we live in a time where we have technology. We have the ability to do this on our smartphones, our tablets, on our computers. And almost every one of you should have this capability right in your hands already to meet online. Uh, so let's use the technology we have. Reason number two, your people need encouragement. Right now, uh, people are, are fearful as to what's going to happen. It's affecting them with school and their daily schedule and whether or not they're going to pay the bills. And these are the people in our classes, in our groups, in our church, in our neighbors around us, uh, our friends on Facebook. And we need to continue to help people stay in the Word of God, to pray with them, to let them know that they're not in this alone. And it gets very lonely when you can't see the people that you care about that you would normally see. And so uh, use these online groups to pray together. We were able the other day to pray and to share burdens and even watch a video together and uh, d uh, read through some scriptures. So uh, it, it's a really great opportunity to encourage your group. Third reason why you should continue and you should have online groups is this, is that God has called you to make disciples. And now is not the time to stop. You know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to rise up. It's, it's not a time for us to scale back. We may scale back in person, but that doesn't mean we can't continue to encourage or that doesn't mean we can't continue to reach. Every one of our videos that we've posted on Facebook thus far uh, for church or the groups that we've had, they've been uh, better viewed, more well attended than uh, than normal. And it's because people are looking for encouragement right now. Everyone uh, is in their home and they're looking for something. And so let's use this opportunity to make disciples. Maybe you can invite your neighbors or your Facebook friends to join your Zoom class or your group call, and we can promote that online. Uh, but these are three great, great reasons. I want to give you some tips right now, just a couple tips as you are proceeding forward to lead people in your life right now in the church. Uh, number one, we're going to use Zoom for our video meetings. I think that's the best way. And I'll tell you more about it tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, and I will uh, try to make that available for those of you that can't uh, be a part of that call. Also, you can use Messenger apps to stay connected. I would encourage every one of you, if you don't already have all of your group members, or your class members in an app, uh, whether that's Facebook Messenger, whether that's GroupMe, whether you're using Marco Polo or a simple group text, to go ahead and get a group text together to, to daily text and pray and talk about what you're doing to, to create that atmosphere of connection, even though we can't be together right now. So I hope that you'll join me tonight at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. I hope you don't have much going on tonight. We're going to host just a simple, probably 30 minute uh, or no longer call using Zoom. I will include the details in an email and some messages online to you. So tonight at 8 p.m., we're going to talk about using Zoom for virtual groups and we're going to test it out as leaders. That way we can implement that in our groups. Hey, thanks a lot. And I'm praying for you.